Hello guys, welcome back to Programming with Anavkas. In this video, we will talk about chain guard images. So let me tell you first about what is chain guard. Chain guard is a security focused company that specializes in providing secure software supply chain solutions. Its primary goal is to help organizations ensure the security and integrity of their software from development through deployment. So why we should move towards chain guard because it enhances security by using chain guard developers and organizations can significantly enhance the security of their software development life cycle. So it reduces the cost of maintenance uh, because chain guard uh, will handle updates and security patches. Uh, it's easy to use chain guard provides and ease to use interface and tools uh, that integrate uh, smoothly with existing workflows, uh, making it simple to adopt secure practices. Chain guard images can be used in various um, uh, software development processes. Uh, in this video, uh, we will talk um, about Java applications. Uh, so here is a step-by-step -step guide by using chain guard images for Java applications. And uh, we will deploy the applications on uh, Amazon uh, ECR or uh, ECS, uh, I will break down the process into clear steps to for you to follow. So here are the uh, steps. So this is the step number one uh, in which you will set up your environment. So first of all, you will need to install Docker. So ensure you have Docker installed on your machine. To download and install the Docker from the official website, here is the link. Uh, click on this link and uh, uh, it will open. Uh, Docker official website, so download for Windows. So Docker desktop installer has been downloaded. Click on the installer to install it. Okay, to complete the installation of Docker Desktop, uh, we need to restart this uh, uh, system. So let me restart it. Okay, the system has been restarted. Uh, so uh, search uh, here Docker Desktop, run it. Okay, accept. Use uh, recommended settings. Finish. So you can continue without uh, signing in. So what's your role? Uh, so select here, are you a student in first at platform, engineer, backend developer, or full stack uh, developer? So suppose uh, I select here backend developer. So why you will use this uh, uh, Docker? So uh, you can choose here uh, local development, uh, learning and teaching, testing applications, and debugging images. Okay, continue. So uh, here is uh, your Docker desktop is running. Uh, so minimize it and uh, uh, let's move toward uh, the second bullet of uh, step number one, uh, which is create an AWS account. So you have to sign up uh, on AWS uh, free time. So for that, click uh, here. You can use this link. I will uh, uh, paste these links uh, in the video description. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, like this video. So click on here, create uh, AWS account.
uh, if you are facing uh, the issue uh, in completion of sign up process uh, and uh, the issue is uh, that you are not getting call from uh, them to be verified uh, so for it uh, uh, follow the steps uh, which uh, i have explained in my video uh, to contact their customer support services and uh, after that they will call you and uh, they called me to resolve the issue and uh, my issue has been resolved uh, after step number four uh, they will uh, send you plans and uh, you have to select uh, one of the plans Okay, select the plan. So we will select uh, the free plan, complete sign up. Okay, uh, so our account uh, has been activated. Go to AWS Management Console. So here you can see all the options, all the services which uh, AWS provides us. So basically, uh, what we need, uh, we need uh, AWS access key ID. Okay, guys, to get uh, the secret key and uh, access key, you need to sign in to the console. So from here, uh, I will open IAM. Here you can uh, see users. So I have already created the user. If uh, you have not created any user, so you need to create a new user. So if I will open this, so uh, I can see here the key. Uh, this key is uh, active and uh, I used uh, it 16 hours ago. So you can uh, create a new access key from here for CLI. So you will need to understand the above recommendations and uh, click on next. Uh, just remain empty. Okay, create access key. So here you will uh, find your access key and uh, this secret key. Uh, this uh, uh, These keys uh, will be used in uh, AWS uh, CLI for uh, the configuration of AWS. Uh, so let's move uh, towards the next step, uh, which is uh, install uh, AWS uh, online interface. So to install it, uh, you have to open this link. You can run uh, this command in your command line interface. Okay, click here. Uh, let's run it. Okay, AWS uh, CLI has been installed. So finish it. So you have successfully uh, completed these uh, three steps. Now configure AWS CLI. Uh, set up your credential and default region. Uh, so open the bash and uh, uh, then write AWS configure them. So let's write. Uh, run the command here aws configure and uh, the access key id is this and uh, let's copy the secret access key uh, the secret access key and uh, region is eu north one and json four uh, so let's move towards the next step Step number two. Uh, in this step, we will pull chain guard JDK image uh, from their resources. Uh, so for that, uh, you need to open the terminal and uh, or command prompt and uh, write this command there. Okay, control C and uh, uh, reopen this command line.
Uh, okay, the chain guard uh, image uh, for uh, Java development kit has been downloaded, downloaded successfully. Uh, let's do more uh, to move further. Okay, uh, we have completed two steps. Uh, now it's time to uh, create a simple Java application. So to make uh, this simple Java application, uh, we can use uh, CMD. So change directory to uh, desktop and uh, uh, make directory and uh, make a directory of name chain guard java app okay now cd to chain guard java app and uh, now make a simple uh, hello world on java file in that directory so move uh, uh, to the desktop desktop you will found chain guard java app folder uh, make here a new file so from notepad so paste the code and uh, save it with name hello world.java on desktop in chain guard java app folder hello world.java okay okay what's the next step uh, now uh, we need to uh, make a docker file so in docker file we will copy uh, this code so if you guys are new with docker so what is docker file docker uh, our docker file is a script that contains instruction for building a customized docker image each instruction in a docker file creates a new layer in the image and the final image is composed of all the layers stack on top of each layer so uh, the instructions can be from run copy and uh, environment uh, etc so let's create a, uh, a new file here and uh, paste the code which uh, we copied from uh, the ppt slides uh, okay so save it in the same folder where we are making our application so name it docker file okay so no need of any extension to provide any extension here okay so <clears throat> close this file okay uh, come to the folder here you can see the extension is .txt by default remove this extension okay uh, now come back uh, to the slides now build and test your docker image uh, to test the docker image we will uh, write this command so copy this command and uh, run it in on cmd okay now start a build for that uh, we need to copy another command um, okay you can see here docker build x build okay requires exactly one argument See Docker build X or build uh, Docker build uh, options parts. Okay, put uh, dot at the end of the command and uh, run it. As you can see here, the image is building and uh, failed to show, failed to read Docker file, open Docker file, no such file dot uh, directory. Okay, the name of file should be in smaller letters. Docker file. Okay. Now again, run the command. Okay, let's the uh, let's follow the steps uh, given by Chat GPT 4.0. So I have written these permissions. Now add this line into the Docker file too. Okay, copy the complete word and uh, paste here. Save and. Uh, validate the java file i think java file is uh, up to date okay save it now clean docker build cache uh, close it open cmd as administrator cd and, uh, copy the path from here uh, now run the command
ओके लेट्स मेक दिस फाइल यूजर रूट सो बाय इंसर्टिंग हेयर यूजर रूट सो पेस्ट दिस पेस्ट दिस कोड इनटू दिस डॉकर फाइल सो दे कंट्रोल बी सेव okay as you can see here the build has been uh, finished okay let's run the command docker images uh, to check whether image uh, has been built or not so as you can see here chain get chain chain guard java app uh, image has been created here 3 minutes ago so by running uh, uh, this command you can see here the output hello chain guard okay uh now it's time to move uh, forward now we need uh, we are going to push this uh, image to amazon ecr so create a ecr repository uh, on uh, aws management console so for that you need to uh, log in into the amazon web services management console okay so copy this name from here uh now we will uh, uh push this uh, locally uh, image uh, to this uh, ecr repository so for that you need to run these three commands so first of all you will authenticate docker to your amazon uh, ecr registry so copy this command and uh, paste uh, here on uh, cmd and uh, here your account id uh, should be from here we can copy this account id copy and just paste here okay and uh, you need to paste here too and uh, also here so copy the command and uh, paste it on cmd 